the first phase one is nothing but quickly scan the easy question and try to solve at magic one it's time so that you can utilize that time for the difficult question or question which you have to i will say give some extra as you all know that this gate exam here the negative marking actually matters a lot use of a virtual calculator as you all know that virtual calculator is the only uh, i will say tools which is allowed for you magic calculator is not allowed in the gate exam hello students i hope you all guys are preparing very well for gate 105 exam now it's last week preparation left for you and in this last week preparation in last week revision uh, i just want to tell you a few points which actually toppers or those who get very good marks in the previous gate uh, they actually go with this approach in a gate exam while giving that exam now first thing if you are going for exam the first thing which you have to uh, always very very particular about is pre exam strategy any of you have seen uh, if you are mentally very ready for any type of work you perform i will say much better as compared to the other version for that sleep well take proper rest before exam especially during the night just before exam take proper rest each exam center before itself so that you will not be in a hurry buddy uh, while entering the exam center stay confident whatever you have prepared in the last one year from that only the question will come from that syllabus only the question will come so very prepared about that and if possible try to discuss uh, i will say avoid discussing anything with others in that zone okay the first thing is the mental readiness if you are mentally very stable mentally you are very balanced everything will come even formula which you generally forgot but if your if your mind is balanced that formula will come to in your mind at that time during the exam now second thing if i focus about the exam paper exam paper attempt strategy the first one will be the the first phase one i have divided the all like in a three phase i have divided the complete exam in the first phase you have to quickly scan all the easy questions and try to solve starting i will say uh, 45 minutes from uh, 0 to 45 minutes basically so starting 45 minutes what you have to do just quickly scan all those question which is easy for you try to solve as quickly as possible it may be a general aptitude question or mathematic question and if if sometime a theoretical question is very easy for you so you can include that also the first phase one is nothing but quickly scan the easy question and try to solve as much as possible and in this phase one try to take minimum time to solve any question because whatever time you are uh, saving right now in this phase this will be useful in other phase i hope you got the point for example if a problem is very easy for you you have already know the approach and all you takes very less time to solve that question okay so this is the phase you have to save too much time so that you can utilize that time for the difficult question or question which you have to i will say give some extra time to get the answer second phase is the medium level question that is the next 60 to 70 minute you have to focus on that those questions which you uh, feel uh, i can solve this question but it will take time are you getting my point those type of question which you see in the exam and you say in your mind that okay this question is something which i can solve but it will take some time it will uh, use some uh, more concept which is lengthy for me right now so in this part you have to solve that question now the third phase is the tough and the lengthy questions the next 40 to 50, 40 to 50 minutes you have to focus on those questions which you feel it is very difficult some of the questions you know the approach also but we are not confident about so these type of question you have to target in the last phase that is phase 3 of your exam so that if at all if this question takes some extra time for you uh, you can easily uh, devote that time and if at all if you are not able to get the right answer for this question and i will say the if you are not able to get the right approach for any particular question that that wasters of time will not create the panic situation for you but if this type of question if you solve in the phase 1 and if you are not going to get the right answer for that it will create a tension for you it will create a panic situation for you sometimes some student gets very 
demotivated that I am not able to uh, get the very good mark in this gate exam. And in that case, even though it's just only one problem, but they actually forgot that part and they completely, completely get very low mark in the gate exam. And that is something which I don't want. It happens with any of my students. I don't want this to happen in, with any of my students. So those questions is the uh, for those questions you have to give time only in the last time of your exam. Okay, that is clear to all of you. Then the next thing will be the uh, this time management for the gate paper. See, this time management can vary uh, from one to one. This is something which I am giving a random. I will say uh, which is maybe suited for me, but may may not be suited for other. So in that case, this is just a general, I will say the time management part, which I have given to you, like starting general aptitude part, those who are very good in general aptitude, they can start with the general aptitude, 15 marks, 20 to 25 marks, uh, minutes, you can devote for that. Engineering mathematics, again, 15 marks, again, 30, 35 minutes, you can devote for that. Four civil engineering subjects, around 70 marks, 120 minute, you can devote for that. And the last is review and correction, because see, uh, sometime uh, you forget to put the answer. Sometime you forget to use a wrong, uh, uh, I will say the forget to use the correct uh, SI unit. So for all these things, the review and the correction time you can devote. Okay. Now, as you all know that this gate exam here, the negative marking actually matters a lot. So always try to get either right answer or if you are going for 50-50 or 60-40 type of thing, so in that case, always try to cancel out all the points which you feel, all the options which you feel it's wrong. Like out of four options, if you don't know the right option, try to clear, try to remove those options which you feel it's completely wrong. Are you getting my point? So instead of finding the right option, find the wrong option. Sometimes this approach will help you to get the right answer. Okay. So basically, what I'm trying to say, if you are confident about that answer, then only you uh, you go for uh, I will say the option selection. If you are not confident, wait for some time while review and correction time, which is the last time which I have given to you, last phase which I have given to you. In those time, just put that question in a review uh, mark, and in the last in the last moment last half an hour revisit that question if you're still getting the same answer you can put that as a right answer i will say if you are 90 and 10 percent or 80 or 20 percent confirmed about the answer percentage i will say the right answer percentage then only you uh, select that option otherwise many times what happens now many of students are getting low mark because of the negative mark because they have randomly picked all the options and uh, uh, like if they are only 40% confident, only 30% confident, then also they are putting the, uh, uh, I will say, then also they are picking the options. In that case, what happens? They get very uh, less mark because of the negative mark and which actually hurts a lot. Now, the next thing is the effective use of the virtual calculator. As you all know that virtual calculator is the only, uh, I will say, tools which is allowed for you. Scientific calculator is not allowed in the gate exam. So here. How much you are comfortable with the virtual calculator actually uh, helps you a lot. Some of you who have practiced very, I will say, so much practice they have done with the uh, virtual calculator, they know some short tricks also. They, they, they can do calculation very fast compared to the other. So it, it saves a lot. Like it, it actually saves a lot of time compared to other students. So effective use of virtual calculator, which actually helps you uh, in two ways. First thing, if you are very much confident about your virtual, virtual calculator calculation, it saves your time. Second thing, if you are very much confident about the virtual calculator, calculator answer, you will not get any second thought about your answer. Whatever you have calculated, you feel huh, this is the right answer. Generally, this happens with many of you 
बिकॉज दे आर वेरी मच कंफर्टेबल विद द साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर तो इफ द फर्स्ट टाइम और मे बी सेकेंड और थर्ड टाइम इफ दे आर डूइंग विद द वर्चुअल कैलकुलेटर दे विल नॉट फील कंफर्टेबल आई विल से दे विल नॉट फील कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट देयर ओन आंसर ओ दे थॉट ओ मे बी आई हैव सम रॉन्ग इन द वर्चुअल कैलकुलेटर लाइक वाइल यूजिंग द वर्चुअल कैलकुलेटर तो दिस समथिंग यू दिस दिस टाइप ऑफ सेकेंड थॉट एक्चुअली Uh, not good for you because this will uh, actually ultimately it will leads to a confusion while selection or while selecting a option and it actually uh, wastes your time also so this something you have to take care of okay the next thing is the last uh, less last 10 minute tips which is double check your answers ensure you haven't wins any easy questions verify calculation in especially in a numerical uh, ability question numerical answer question uh, Here chances of mistakes like uh, up to two decimal or up to three decimal type of error, na you generally do. So check that units always check two times. Uh, Sometimes some of a student they don't read the question properly. So that is the one of the mistake which I I which 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 I always say to avoid that mistake as much as possible. And I will say hundred percent avoid that mistake because that mistakes will. hurt you a lot if you have not completely uh, read out that question that is something is something which is going to hurt you a lot after gate exam so that i will say everyone don't do that 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 type of mistake in the exam don't change answer unless you are absolutely sure are you getting my point these are the last minute tips which i uh, which i want to give to all of you the final take away from the stoppers talk or i will say the from the topper strategy attempt sure shot question first build confidence early that is the reason why in a phase 1 i have told you to solve as much as possible like as much as possible those questions which you feel uh, okay i can solve this question within a minute you are very much confident about that problem if you see in a first phase especially in a first and second phase if you solve like more than 40 questions or more than 45 questions in that in that in that condition you will be very much confident to tackle even a heavy problem even a very difficult problem and chances of getting the right answer for that difficult problem will increase i will say two times sometimes three times also and that is the beauty of if you if you solve like 40 40 to 50 question uh, or maybe 40 question in the first phase and the second phase a mind way next thing is that manage time wisely Accord for that, uh, phase one, phase two, phase three strategy will help you. Uh, keep calm and focused. Avoid panicking during the tough sections. For that reason only, I told you don't solve a lengthy problem or the problem which you feel difficult or the areas which you are not confident about. Uh, confident about from those area, if any question comes, don't try to solve in the first phase. Okay, practice mock test with the time constraint before the exam. those who feel uh, that i am not able to uh, put myself in this time management skill what you do before exam two three mock tests you try to give and try to follow this pattern which i told you okay so before uh, before going to the exam you have time so two three mock tests you can give just follow my pattern which i told you phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and accordingly distribute the time last last 20 minutes is for revision and uh, i will say the revisit all the review questions these all things which you have to do so i hope uh, this is clear to all of you and thank you so much all of you for, for watching this session and if you have any doubt regarding this strategy or if you have any doubt other than that any topic you can definitely comment me you can discuss those part on my telegram group also so this is my telegram group this you all can discuss all your queries regarding sir pw okay so you can simply search mrigang sir pw uh, on telegram you will get this group here you can discuss even if you want to slightly change with this uh, strategy or if you have any doubt related to this strategy you can definitely discuss with me and try to discuss before exam itself so that accordingly you can implement also 
Okay, so I hope this is very clear to all of you regarding this strategy, which actually toppers. Uh, toppers means those students who get very good mark according to their expectation. Okay, so meet you in the next session. Till then, keep keep hard working. It is the last moment where you have to succeed, and definitely you all are going to get very good mark in a gate twenty five exam. So best of luck all of you for gate twenty five exam. We'll meet. Definitely another session. Until then, take care all of you. Bye-bye. Okay.